Hey guys, Steven here, and this time we'll be taking a look at, um, Mattel's DC True Moves Justice League Superman figure from 2019, or 2019, so, this is pretty much their newer, um, line coming out, I guess, it's to coincide with the Batman Missions line, I guess, I don't know, it's weird because this line kind of came out of nowhere. Because I don't remember any announcements of this toy line. So, yeah. I got this from Amazon. I heard these are out right now in Walmart. Because I'm from California, United States. So, yeah. I don't know when these are hitting shelves across the states or worldwide. But in California, and only at Walmart I've seen. It's just, they seem to be there. So, this is Superman in his Reborn outfit. And... Yeah, um, I'm not a fan of his Rebirth outfit, his first Rebirth with the blue boots, so I'm glad they went for this look. And I think it looks really cool. So, yeah, he is 12 inches tall. I'm going to go over the size comparison, so let's get that out of the way. Um, unfortunately, I sold all my DC Multiverse and Marvel Legends, so I'm just going to use SH Figure Arts Wonder Woman. And SH Figure Arts Harley Quinn. So, there you go. That's as close as you're going to get to like a Marvel Legends scale or DC Multiverse. So, there is that. And, oh, whoops. And we're going to compare with the other True Moves figures. Or, I guess, Titan-related scale figures. Like the Shazam figure, which is out also. So, there's that, and here's the Aquaman from last year. So, hopefully, he stands straight, and boom. There you go. You have the three scaled figures. So, there's that. And now, let's get on with how the figure looks. As you can see here, one of my eyes on this figure is a little messed up. I don't know if... It's a digital thing or whatever um, technology they're trying to do, but his eyes look really messed up. But overall, it's a really nice head sculpt. I feel out of breath because I've been moving around all day, so there's that. And you got a nicely painted S, even though I'm against painted S, just because... I know these are made for kids, but you may never know if a kid plays too hard with it and then down the road they might not play it again and then you end up with a scratched up S or something. I don't know. That's why I prefer sculpted S's, but this one looks really good. Then you got a belt, which looks really nice. And then you have his red boots, even though um his um pretty much the feet to the knees are just molded red plastic so you don't have his traditional superman boots which is weird but then again it's for kids so i think mattel kind of skimped out on it so it is what it is and then you have his red cape his nice red cape right here which is cloth cape which is cool and you got the back right here which is nothing and then you got writing on his butt which says 2018 which is weird, but I guess it is what it is. And then you have the red part of his cape up here, which is different from the cape. But, you know, it is a kid's toy, so... Other than that, um, that's pretty much it. There's really not much to talk about. The articulation's the same as every other True Moves figure. I don't know why he has grabbing hands. He should have had fists, but it is what it is. So let's go over the articulation. You got... A neck you kind of have a ball joint right here shoulders go out forward elbows bend rotate swivel wrist legs go forward out knee articulation and that's it that's pretty much the articulation for this figure right here so there's that and we'll just take a look at the packaging which is this Pretty cool looking packaging. It's blue. Kind of almost looks generic with that generic Justice League logo that they 
that you see on merchandises and stuff. But yeah, you got a nice, I don't know, CGI looking model rendering for Superman. Then you got DC, you got True Moves. You got nice pictures right here. And I paid $9 for this figure too, so yeah. I got this on Amazon. Um, Walmart should have them for like 8 bucks, $9 around there. Plus tax, it would be like $10 and you'll be fine. So you have more of that right there, right here. But yeah, you can see the model right here telling you the um, points of articulation. There's 11 points, a nice picture of Superman back here, lifelike posing, as they would say. And then you have other figures, which is the Flash and Aquaman. I've seen the Flash. I'm not going to get him. I just... I don't know, not for me. And then I've never seen this one, this Aquaman. So I don't know when he's coming out, but and I don't even know if they're gonna make more characters in this line. So I assume everyone should have the Batman from the Batman Missions line, you know, the true moves 12 inch. But other than that, I don't know if they're gonna make a rebirth Wonder Woman or a Jessica Cruz Green Lantern or whatever. I don't even know. So, so far, this is pretty much their release. And it is Mattel's last year, I believe, considering Spin Master has the license for DC figures. But, yeah, so, there it is. This is Steven, and I'll see you guys next time. Whoops.